Right now, if you want to do AI masking with Darktable, you need to be a nerd because the installation step is tricky. So to fix that, I've created an installation script that will let you install the SAM2 plugin with just one comment. This video is divided into three sections. So I will start with Linux because that's the best operating system. Next, I will do Windows and finally Mac OS. But I will put timestamp in the video description so you can easily jump to the section that covers your operating system. So if that sounds good for you, let's go. Hey guys, this is me from the future. So I've recorded this video about one or two weeks ago. And since then, I made some improvements. So what you're about to see is slightly different than the actual script. The main difference is that instead of using the native Python installation, I will use a package manager named UV. So this will make the installation much faster and it would let UV manage the Python version. That means if you already have Python installed on your system for other application, there won't be any conflict because of the Python version. So now let's get back to the video. Okay, so we are now inside the Linux Mint virtual machine. So the first step to install SAM2 tools is to go to my GitHub. So the link will be in the video description so you can easily copy and paste it. Once you're there, there is a section named installation script. So from there, you need to copy the installation command for Linux. Once that's done, you can open your terminal, paste the command and press enter. The first thing the script will do is check for dependencies and install them if they are missing. So in my case, it's an almost fresh Linux Mint uh, installation. So uh, I didn't install Git or Python, so I need to install them. So to do so, I need to enter my sudo password. Once the dependency is installed, it will copy my Git repository for the SAM2 tools. Next, it will create and activate the virtual environment and then it will install the Python application. So before installing the Python application, it will ask you if you need GPU support. So in my case, it's a virtual machine, so I will say no, but if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can say yes. So uh, when the models are running, they will use your GPU instead of your CPU. So the installation will take some time, so uh, I will speed things up and uh, get back to you once everything is installed. So now that the application has been installed, we can see that it created the configuration file and folder. So it's inside the home directory, .config, and then SAM2. And that's also where the models have to be installed. So the script is asking us if we want to install them automatically. So if you say no, you will have to download them manually. But in my case, I want to download them. So I will say yes. So what will happen is that it will download them and put them in the configuration folder. So if you want to look, you can open your file browser and uh, then in your home directory, you can show hidden files. Uh, then inside .config, you should have a folder named SAM2, then another folder named checkpoints. And there you will have all the models you downloaded. So if you didn't download them uh, from the script, you need to download them manually. The links are on GitHub. So uh, you can download them all or download the model you want. And once downloaded, you need to place them there. Once the model downloaded, we need to install the system-wide launcher. So to do so, we need to make the script executable. So that's why the script is asking us for the sudo password. After installing the launcher, the script will try to test it. So as you can see, we see the man page, meaning that the software was installed successfully. Uh, so now it will ask us if we want to install the Darktable plugin. So I want to install it, so I will say yes. And that's it. We are done. So if we want to test if everything is working, we can type sam2-tools. And then a window will pop up confirming that everything is working fine. So now it's time to open Darktable. On Linux, we have these pop-ups, so you just have to click on the Upgrade Database. You need to do that twice. Once Darktable is open, you can open the Script Manager. If you go to Start and Stop Script, you will see you have a new folder named Custom. 
and that's where the SAM2 plugin is. If in your case the Lua Script Manager was not installed, I suggest you look my video about uh, Enfuse Sample. So in that video, I explain how to uh, install the Lua Script module. Next, we can start that plugin. Once started, we can open a picture. And on the side panel, we will see that we have our SAM2 plugin. So if we open it, we need to select where the launcher is. So in our case, it's under user forward slash local forward slash bin. And then there is a file named SAM2. Once selected, you can click on save. Next, you can select the model you want. Uh, select the mode, the temporary file size, I believe around uh, 1000 works great. Then the number of masks and you click on generate mask. So now we have this pop-up window that let us uh, select the area of our image we want to mask. So let's say I want to do uh, a sky mask. I can click there. If the mask look good to me, I press enter. So now I can search for the raster mask module and the mask will be saved in the same folder as the original picture. So in my case, it's under the picture folder and I have my mask right there. So if I click select, I now have my sky mask. So if I want to use it with another module, for example, I can look for the exposure module. If I click there on raster mask, and go down there under raster mask, I can add external raster mask. So now if I look for my mask, I can see I have my sky mask. Okay, so we are inside a Windows virtual machine. So the first step to install SAM2 tools is to go to my GitHub. So the link will be in the video description so you can easily copy and paste it. Next, if you go down, there is a section named installation script. So from there, you have to copy the command for the Windows installation. Next, you need to open PowerShell, paste the command and press enter. So the first thing the script will do is ask you to install the dependency. So in my case, it's an almost fresh Windows uh, virtual machine. So nothing has been installed, so I need to install everything first. So you can install everything manually or let the script uh, handle it. One thing to note is I've tried the plugin with Python 3.14 and it didn't work on Windows. So if you already have Python installed and are running Python uh, 3.14, just remember that you may have some issues. So once the dependencies have been installed, you need to close PowerShell and reopen it. So uh, I can open a new PowerShell instance and delete the old one. Now I can paste the script again, press enter. So now because the dependencies have been installed, uh, the script moved to the next step, which is to clone the Git repository. So then it will create and activate the virtual environment and then it will try to install the Python application. Now it's asking us if we want to install the CUDA version of PyTorch. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you want to say yes, otherwise you can say no. So if you say no, you will only have support for CPU. So for example, if you are installing this on a laptop and don't have any GPU, you should say no. So uh, right now I'm inside a virtual machine, so I don't have any GPU, so I will say no. But remember, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, say yes. So now the installation will take some time, so I will speed things up and get back to you once everything has been installed. Now that the application has been installed, we can see that it created a configuration file inside the app data folder. And that's also where the models have to be downloaded. So if you want, you can download them manually, but the script will ask you if you want to download them automatically. So in my case, I want to download them automatically, so I will say yes. Once everything has been installed, the script will ask you if you want to install the Darktable plugin. So in my case, I want to install it, so I will say yes. And that's it. 
the installation is completed. So uh, if we want to test that, we can open Darktable. Uh, it seems I have to uh, restart Darktable to enable the Lua script module. So that's what I will do. So now if I open the Lua script manager, I should have a new folder named custom. And there uh, we can see my SAM2 plugin. So if I enable it, uh, let's say I open this picture. So the plugin will appear on the side panel. So if you open it, it will ask you uh, to select where the SAM2 executable is. So in our case, it's installed in user uh, SAM2 tools launcher. So if I click on the folder, I can go to my home directory. Now I have my folder named SAM2 tools. Inside launcher, there is a bat file. So this is the bat file. So you also have a, an exe, a PowerShell script, and a bash script, but you need this one. So to make sure it's the bat file, you will see the extension once you import it inside Darktable. So if you have the .bat, you can click Save. Next, you can select the model you want, select the mode, select the temporary file size, uh, the number of mask, and click on Generate. So now there is a small window that pop up, and that's what I need to use to generate my mask. So let's say I want to create a sky mask. I just have to click on the sky. Uh, once the mask is fine for me, I press Enter. So now the mask should be saved in the same folder as the original picture. So if I open the raster mask module, I can search for the image and it should be in my picture directory. So I have my mask right there. And as you can see, we now have our sky mask. So if I want to apply it to a module, let's say I open the exposure module, I can select raster mask. Then I can select external raster mask. And as you can see, I now have my sky mask. Okay, so here's what you have to do to install the SAM2 tools using the installation script. So the first step is to go on my GitHub to copy the comments. So the link will be in the video description so you can easily copy and paste it. Next, if you go down, you will see a section named installation script. So that's where you can find the command for macOS. So you just have to copy it. Once copied, you can open your terminal, paste it, and press enter. So first, the script will look for the dependencies. If they are not installed, it will install them automatically. Next, it will clone my GitHub repository, create and activate the virtual environment, and then it will install the Python application. This will take some time, so be patient. Once everything is installed, it will create the configuration file. So as you can see, it's installed in your home directory uh, .config forward slash sam forward slash config .yaml. Then it will ask you if you want to download the model. So by default, the models would be downloaded in your configuration folder. So I will say yes. Once everything downloaded, it will ask you if you want to install the Darktable plugin. In my case, I want to install it, so I will press yes, and that's it. So everything has been installed. So we can test if uh, everything is working. So we can open Darktable. And in the Lua script module, there should be a new folder named custom, which is the case. In the custom folder, we have all my plugin, including the SAM2 plugin. So if we enable it, uh, we can now open a picture. Now on the side panel, we have the SAM2 module. So I have a small bug in my script and there are two, so I will fix this uh, later. But uh, it's still working even with that small bug.
Okay, so the first time you will open this uh, module, the first window you will see, it's not what we are seeing right now. So you will be in the setting menu and there won't be any files in that field. So what you will have to do is click on this folder and then you will have to move to a user, your name, application, and there, there will be a file named sam 2 tools.command. Then you double click there and then you press save. Once that's done, you can select the model you want, select the mode, the temporary file size, the number of masks, and then you press on generate mask. So because I've selected points, a new window will open and I will be able to add points to generate my mask. So let's say I want to do a sky mask. I can press there. If I'm pleased with the mask, I press enter, and then the mask will automatically be generated uh, in the same folder as the original image. So now if I open the raster mask module, uh, I can enable it, then I click on the folder, and then I need to move where uh, the picture is, and as you can see right there, I have my mask. So now if I want to use it with any module, so let's say I'm selecting the exposure module. Uh, let's say I reset this. Uh, I can click on raster mask right there. Then uh, I can select external raster mask. And now, as you can see, I have a mask that cover my sky. Okay, so that's it for me. Again, I hope the video was helpful. If it was, just give me a like and see you next time.